Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Impeccable Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you my process of making an acrylic blank using my laser cutter to make silicone molds. So I do have two other videos showing you my process of making the actual silicone mold. And then I have another video showing you how I 3D printed the housing for that. So I'm not going to show you the details of designing everything I did in the software again. You can go ahead and refer back to the previous videos. I'll go ahead and leave the links. So what I'm doing here is just saving the two separate parts. One's going to be the etching that goes into the acrylic and the other is going to be the actual cut. That black portion there I saved is going to be the outline that cuts the acrylic out. The detail of the flower, that's what's going to be etched inside my acrylic. So now that we got everything saved, I'm going to move over into Inkscape. My K40 laser uses a program called K40 Whisperer and Inkscape. You need both of them to work. They work based off of each other. Um, it's, it's kind of funky, but it works for me. And it actually works pretty well once you get the hang of it. So what I'm doing here is importing those two images that we saved. Again, this portion right here is going to be my cut. That's going to be my etched. So let's go ahead and slap these in here. And since I save them as a JPEG, I am going to want to vectorize those again. Very easy in Inkscape. Simple as that. Tracing the bitmap. So we'll drag that away. And there is our vectorized outline cut. And we're going to do a little something different to that shortly here. We'll just put that off to the side. Now I'm going to import the detail part of the sunflower. Go ahead and do the same process. Trace the bitmap. Oh, so pretty. Okay. We'll pull that out of here. And that's our vector. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the solid black portion here. That's going to be the outline cut for our acrylic. And what we need to do, we don't want any filled color in there. So we're going to go ahead and hit this X. And then we're going to hit the stroke paint solid. And we want this in the RGB portion to be 255 in the red. That tells the laser that we're going to do a vector cut. So that portion there is done. That's going to tell my laser to cut along this line here with a vector cut, which is the powerful cut that the K40 does all the way around. And for this etched portion here, we actually don't have to do anything for a raster engrave, which um, the K40 does. That's going to be this solid black here. So we're perfect. So all we got to do is just line these two things up. So one is the raster, and then the other is the vector cut. So we can go ahead and align it pretty easy here in Inkscape. So at this point, all we have to do is save the file as an SVG. And the K40 will know to cut along this red line here and to etch the black portion onto our acrylic. Etch, 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 etch. But before we do that, we have to size down the area to fit the image. Otherwise, it's just going to be too large of a file and the K40 starts going haywire and we definitely don't want that. So there we go there. And then we'll export this as an SVG. My girlfriend was pretty excited. Um, about this mold. She wanted a sunflower so she can make some resin pieces for her mom. Both her and her mom love sunflowers. So I told her, just give me a couple days and I will definitely make something happen. And I might as well make some videos while I'm at it. So now that we got everything saved, we're going to go ahead and import the SVG into our laser program, which is called K40 Whisperer. This is a very basic laser program that I use. 
Uh, then again, the controller I have on my laser is pretty simple and basic, but it definitely works for me. All we got to do is find the SVG that we saved right there at the top, Sunflower. Takes a second to import. Okay, a few seconds. Okay, may maybe more than a few. I was about to cue the Jeopardy music again. So you see how it has the red outline? That's going to be our vector cut. And everything black is what's going to be etched into the acrylic. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get over to a time lapse of my laser actually cutting the acrylic. Enjoy! I'm going to slow it down from the super speed hyper mode to show you our acrylic blank. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So there we go. Didn't take too long at all. Maybe about six, seven minutes for the whole process. Now, I'm going to get over to some of the post processing. So here's that 3D printed case we made a couple videos back. Put that off to the side. So what we got to do is get off this protective paper that's on there. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to scratch it off. Don't want to do that. No, no, no. Big no. You'll scratch your blank. It'll come out in the mold. No bueno. You want to use some heavy duty duct tape. Something along the lines of the Gorilla duct tape. Something that's very sticky, very tacky. And what it's going to do, it's going to pull that paper right off. It's a lot easier than trying to pick it off with your hands or pick it off with your fingers. You don't want to get the scratches on there. It's going to come off nice and clean. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I notice if I start at a very corner and just peel back, that's when I start getting the groove of it. So you can see right there in the corner, we got those two little leaves off. So I'm not going to bore you because this does take a little bit of time. So let's go into super crazy high speed time lapse. So we got about half of it off. Looking good, looking shiny, bling blinging in our eye. Now back to super crazy high speed, super duper time lapse. Alrighty, and there we go. We got all of it off. The etch is looking good. The cut's looking good. There's still a little bit there in the center where the seeds will be. Get those out of there. Looking very nice. So now you want to get that back off also. Go ahead and do the same process with that. Use some brand new tape so you get a nice little tack going. See, see, looking good. Oh, that's satisfying. I love when it comes off in one piece, which never happens. So now this acrylic blank is 99% ready to make a mold out of. What we want to do is get off all the smudges that we put on there from handling it. The back, you don't really got to worry about that. That's going to go on the tape. Again, you can refer back to my mold making video. So what we're going to do here let me go get some alcohol excuse me there we go alcohol and microfiber cloth you're really going to use a lot of these combined alcohol and microfiber cloth if you're making molds because you want to get all the smudges off of your acrylic blank 
as I've mentioned many times, anything that is on there, smudge wise, fingerprint wise, will show up on your mold. And that's definitely not good. So now, as long as we don't touch the front, we have a nice smudge free acrylic blank ready to put in our housing and pour some silicone. So I'm not going to show you the process of actually making the mold here. You can refer back to my video. I will link it. But yeah, looking real nice, looking real good. I'm pretty sure my girlfriend's going to be happy. I might actually film her making the resin piece of the mold once it's done. So definitely in the future, look out for that video. We both have lots of ideas for pretty cool videos. Uh, we're going to be cutting things with the laser and, and incorporating resin into that. So watch out for those videos as well. So what we'll do now, skip to the next morning so I can show you the finished mold. And here we go. The finished product of our blood, sweat, and tears. Again, I didn't show you, obviously, the process of making the mold. It's in another video. You can link back to that. This is a satisfying part right here. The tape peels off. And there's no flashing. Ah, love it. So I usually just squeeze around the outer portion of it a bit. Give it a push. And there it is. Looking very nice. Looking good. Oh, she's gonna love it. Let's get that blank out of there. And now you can see how the silicone picked up every single detail. All the portions that are supposed to be shiny are definitely shiny. Little bit of flashing there, not too bad. You can just pull those right off. So yeah, there is my process of making an acrylic blank and a silicone mold. I hope you got something from the video, some knowledge. Hopefully you can use it to make your own blanks and your own molds. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. <laughs>